I feel like I feel like he's like a manipulator. Like he was manipulating every situation on the trip. It was like he was like acting like a narcissist. Like he would manipulate her behind closed doors and then get around her friends and like be very loud about private conversations. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I, I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! Trucker Dow in the building. <laughs> All right, so welcome to the show. I, I really do appreciate you uh, stepping up in the building and, uh, and, and chopping it up with me. I, I must say that uh, with everything that's going on out there, I didn't think that you was going to come out and say anything. I, I said that in a number of podcasts that I have done already. Um, and a lot of people in my, in, in my comment session, you know, a couple of them was mm -hmm. like, hey, uh, why don't you reach out to Trucker Doll and and the other Trucker Buddy? I I know the the other Trucker Buddy as well. Well, not well, right. but I know you know she, you know from Facebook, you know she's associated with Sassy on a number of trips. So they mm -hmm. was asking me to, hey, you know, reach out and I and I I said you know what, that would be a good idea, but. I said, I, I honestly don't think that, you know, they want to, you know, say anything. So let's start, uh, let's start with the initial video that was, uh, that was posted. We already know the story. Now there's, there's videos that's coming out that was years ago. Let's let's get that clear. Right. Am I am I clear in saying that that these videos that's coming out was years ago? Yeah, they were years ago. That trip was almost like three years ago. Okay, okay, okay. So let me ask you this before I give you the floor. Do you think uh, because of the situation that's that's going on with uh, with Sassy Trucker Tierra, uh, mm -hmm. if any of that hadn't uh, jumped off or fell off, do you think the videos that's, that surfaced now, do you think they would have ever surfaced? No, not at all. I honestly think that, you know what I mean, it was an opportunity and a couple people took the opportunity and thought that, you know what I mean, it was going to bring attention to them but any any way, you know, they know how. There's a lot of stuff that is left out of the, you know, the situation. And I'm just like, that is not how it went down. I don't know if any other place that we also went to. We went to um, the Virgin Islands before we went to Puerto Rico. The whole trip was a shit show. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. All right. So let's, 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 let's get into it. So let's, I, I guess... Let's start from the beginning because the Puerto Rico video was, uh, I'm assuming that was the last uh, place on your trip. The St. Thomas yes. video was before Puerto Rico, right? Yes. So let's, yes. Let's, let's just start at the beginning. What brought the whole trip <laughs> together? Like with the, the series of situations, like events or like just us, getting together and going on the trip. Getting like, yeah, getting getting together and going on the trip. What what actually brought everybody together to go on on that uh on that series of trips or places? So we have traveled before with each other, you know what I mean? Like um, you know, the husband and the wife, they're a friend of Tierra. So um she knows them more than I, you know, better than I know them. And so um, that's how, you know, they came about because every time, every trip that we go on or every trip that she goes on, they're pretty much down. You know, from the, from what I knew of them, they seem, you know, pretty cool to travel with and stuff like that. I never had a shoe with them. They always like kind of did their own thing, you know. 
I want to get it clear right now. I don't drink. I'm not a drinker. So the whole time I was there, I was sober. So um, I might have had a you know a couple shots, but other than that, like I'm not a drinker at all. Like, so you you there was sober eyes. Yeah, I was a sober eye, and awesome. you know there were other people that were sober eyes as well because of what had happened in uh, the uh, Virgin Islands. The Virgin Islands was the St. Thomas, right? Yes. Okay. So, like, um, you know, we were we were pretty much making a tally for everybody that pretty much was interested in going on this trip. So, like, we knew we were going on the trip anyway because we had put money in and we had already started, you know, buying everything and getting prepared for it. So, like, you know, either you're going or not, we were going to cover the cost. Or, you know, whatever the case may be. We just wanted to go on a, you know, have fun with people who want to have fun with us. So um, that's how we it got brought about. Like, I knew she was de- uh, bringing a guy friend, and um, I didn't really know much about the friend that he was bringing, but I knew that she wasn't going to show up to the, uh, she didn't show up to the Virgin Island section. She only showed up, like, maybe stayed in Puerto Rico, I think, for five, like five days. So, like, she showed up at the last end, and I think she only was there for three days. So she didn't know anybody that was on the trip but him. She only knew him. So the situation, I'm going to tell you how it built up to how it is today, like, with, you know, you know, the series of events, the video that was sent to you, yada, yada. So, like, we're in – okay, I got to go back from the beginning. It's a long story. So we're in St. Thomas. We showed up before they did because their flight was delayed. So the husband and the wife's flight was delayed. So everybody else showed up on time. We had um, excursions that were already, you know, pre-scheduled that we had to, you know, make regardless because we put money in. So we were just like, you know, going about uh, the trip like we planned and going on our excursions and we were going to pick them up. And, you know, catch them up with whatever we were doing, you know, within that schedule. Hi, um, my name is Peter Parker, and I would like a coffee, please. Okay, no problem, Peter Parker. We already put money in it, so we just continued to do the trip. Um, we had three condos, and it was one beachfront condo and then two regular condos. This was Tierra's birthday trip, so she wanted to go all out. So the condo beachfront one, that's the one that she wanted. So it it housed, it could room four people. So it roomed her and her partner and then the husband and the wife. So because we were on the excursion, the husband and the wife plane landed, and we really didn't know that their plane landed, so they were already at the place. So that being said, we showed up and we there was like a lot of commotion and we didn't know what was going on. We we knew that we had to be at our next excursion, so we just said get in the car. We just told her to get in the car. So she gets in the car with us. She's all like she's crying, she's upset and like we're like, you know what happened blah 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 blah. So she told us a little bit. Um we just went on about our day. We went to go do kayaks. We didn't really know that she was like drunk at the time so we just you know uh we just i don't know we just we thought everything was normal so we got to the kayak place right we get to the kayak place and when i tell you the kayak place was absolutely terrible nobody wanted to uh get on the kayak with her because a, um, a lot of the people that went they couldn't swim so tiara and her partner were on the kayak so it left me and her. I said, I'll do it with her because I could, I could swim. Even though we were in life jackets, I felt comfortable being on there with her. I, I just don't think it would make sense to put somebody that can't swim on a kayak with her if she's drunk. So I got on the kayak with her, and, like, we weren't even we weren't even in the water for 10 minutes. She flipped our kayak. So now we're in the water, and she's about to drown because she has her arms up, and she's slipping out of her kayak. So everybody is freaking out. Um, it was it was a terrible situation. We get out of the water. Um, I basically was like, I don't even want to kayak anymore. 
So Tierra and her partner, they go on to do the excursion with a group of people that were also out there, you know, with us. And we just stood on the docks and we were, our plan was to wait for them to get done. Um, that being said, the wife was pretty much rowdy. She was all up in the, the workers' faces. She was, she was just doing the most. We couldn't get her to calm down. She was trying to start fights with people. And so that being said, the um, employees at the kayak place asked us where we were staying, and I told them, and pretty much they called her a taxi to send her back to where she came from. And so I was like, we, she can't go by herself. So we all got in the car and went with her back to the condos. So we're at the condos. I go to my condo. I'm in there with my roommate. And then the other girl, she's in there with her roommate. And then we hear all this, like, commotion going outside. We're like, what is going on? So we go outside. I'm on the bottom floor. We're on the first floor. They're on the third floor. So we back, I back up to look up on the steps. And it's her up there squaring up with the security guard. So she's up there putting her fingers in his face. The guy is telling her to stop putting her fingers in his face. She's calling him all type of names. It's just, it's crazy. So I call my friend. I call Tierra. I'm like, hey, you need to get over here because your friend getting beat up by the security guard. And then, like, Tierra's like, what do you mean she's getting beat up by the security guard? I'm like, they're fighting. Like, Mace, you know, the husband won't open the door. He he won't let her in. Apparently, this she they left this out since they want to air out all the information. She ended up pretty much stabbing her husband in the hand. And there was blood all over the room. That's what got them kicked out of the Airbnb. Tierra didn't get them kicked out. She wasn't even there. She was on the kayak. She was on an excursion. The husband and the wife got them kicked out of the Airbnb because of their behavior. So the video that was recorded is actually of her trying to get to her husband and the security guard is trying to stop her because they were in that corner room. So she's trying to beat the door down. She ended up throwing one of the, um, there was a lady in the video, a glimpse of the lady. She threw her phone off the balcony. So it, it was just like, a, it was just a terrible, it, it was a, the beginning of like fire being built up over time. You get what I'm saying? Until someone decides to say enough is enough because this isn't the first time that we dealt with them doing this on this particular trip. This also happened when we got to Puerto Rico on a rooftop party. She also put her hand right. So now, mm -hmm. now we're, now we're leaving. And of course this is all per your account because we already, right. you know, already talked to uh, Nelly and you know from the right. horse's mouth type deal so this is all per your you know your account and what you're yes uh what you're seeing and you know from your point of view pretty much all right um all right so we leave saint thomas we mm -hmm. head over to puerto rico there's been in between uh in in between uh, information, including myself, because I, I was, I was kind of wondering the same thing, like, you know, why would the boyfriend invite, you know, another lady to the, you know, to, to the thing, but come to find out that it was a whole group thing. So, you know, that's pretty okay. I get it. Um, mm -hmm. so the boyfriend at the time, I'm, right. I'm just going to say that, uh, Tierra's boyfriend at the time, because, ne you know, the focus was pretty much the boyfriend. Do you agree if the boyfriend of Tierra wasn't in the picture, do you think things would have been a lot better throughout the rest of the vacation or trip? No. No, because we had to deal with them. We literally had to babysit them. It was bad. It was absolutely bad. I wanted my money back. I wanted them to pay me for pain and suffering. It was bad. Like, it was like they would both get drunk, and we could not control them. It was bad out in public. Like I said, I don't drink. So it was just like, Tierra wasn't even, nobody felt comfortable drinking because we had to, 
make sure that they were straight. We had to make sure that they weren't trying to start fights. We had to make sure that no one was pulling out knives. And that, like, that's what was left out because I heard her do her interview with you. She didn't, she didn't mention that she came from the kitchen with a knife that was huge. She went and got the biggest knife under the butcher knife. She went and got it and came back. And then that's what started them to want to fight each other. So now it's like everybody's coming in between them. They're like, hold up. This is no, 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 no. And I'm like, what? What is going on? Because like, I know a lot of people saw me in these videos standing looking crazy. I was confused. I was like, oh, my God. Like, she really went to the kitchen and got a knife, a whole knife. She mentioned that knives was pulled out. So she did confirm that, that knives was pulled out between the both of them. Um, uh, okay, mm -hmm. okay, 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 okay. So we're in Puerto Rico. Um, yes. Uh, of course, some stuff was going on upstairs uh, that was going on upstairs. Let's fast forward to what led up to the kitchen. What led up to the kitchen is all the series of events that I'm telling you about how they were acting on this trip. Like, it was, yeah, yeah. It was like um, whenever the the knife situation happened, the husband was like, yeah, beat that bitch ass. Beat, like, he was just, like, you know, um, making it worse. He was making it worse. He wasn't trying to, like, you know, stop the fight or anything like that. He was, like, in her face and, like, saying, yeah, my bitch going to beat your ass. Like, it was just terrible. What, well, wait, Dow. That's Parker not a, mm -hmm. that That wasn't. It's, I'm, I'm going to assume that gets to be on the video somewhere. Because from what we saw. That was before. The oh, Marie that was before. Girl wasn't, she, was, she was in her room. She wasn't even there when that happened. That happened probably like two hours after. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she confirmed that yes. she wasn't in the room uh, when when the confrontation between Sassy and her husband was going down. Uh, she was, yes. you know, she was made aware of it because, you know, in, in her conversation, the video was sent to her. And that's what made her get up and come out of the come out of the room. All right, so where where did the dropped bottle and cut feet come into play? Okay, so we had um we were getting like um food and the boyfriend at the time everybody just flat out left and I was like, what is going on? Like the vibe, the, it was awkward because I think that people were mad because me and Sierra but basically said no, you're not inviting random people to this Airbnb. Like, we put in too much money. People are pulling out knives. People can't control their alcohol. So we're not throwing no random party with random people from another country we don't know. Like, that's common sense. Like, we're responsible for this stuff. This Airbnb was in our name. Do you know what I mean? So any, any damages or anything like that, we're responsible. And so we were like, no, we're not inviting people. So it was like the... Group dynamic kind of just changed because, like, he was on, the husband was on the phone with people back home and saying, like, my bitch put in $500. I'm like, we paid more. Like, you don't know that Tiara gave you a coupon. Like, what are you talking about? So, anyway, we paid way more for the Airbnb than what he was, like, lying about. So, anyway, um, they were, I guess he was upset because we said, like, we are not going to be partying in here. Like, y'all don't know how to control y'all selves. Like, if we knew that y'all could control yourself and, like, party like adults, it'd be okay. But other than that, no, we're not doing this. It's too, it's too dangerous, you know what I mean? It's too dangerous because of the stuff that we had dealt with in the Virgin Islands with them. We couldn't, we, I couldn't risk it, you know what I mean? I am not, or, no, I don't like stuff like that. So, you know, it was like brains over, you know. And um, what was your other question? Because I kind of got sidetracked just now. Um, how about a smoothie? What's in that? Smoothie's a juice drink. We want coffee. Buddy, relax. You're in the kitchen. Of course, you know, that kitchen, you're right? in the kitchen. See, uh, Tierra was, was arguing. Uh, Matsy Marie was in the kitchen recording. She recorded. 
Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. she was in the kitchen recording. Who else was in the kitchen? Because it looked like it was another dude that was in the frame. It was, was a cousin. Okay. It was Tierra's uh, cousin, yes. Okay. All right, mm-hmm. so, again, uh, Tierra and the young man was arguing. Um, of course, you know, he kind of walked away, and I gave I gave it to him for you know the restraint that he had because I'm 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 not sure if many guys would would do that. Uh, I wish that there was footage of what happened way before that because it was awful. Like I'm talking about the wife had a whole knife and was basically saying, "Bitch, I'm gonna cut you!" Like like she was she just wouldn't stop. And the husband wouldn't stop either. Like, he was like, yeah, my bitch will cut you. And we were just looking at them like, y'all are out of y'all damn mind. I'm like, they're drunk. They're well, literally drunk. Well, they, so, huh? she did confirm the fact that they was, you know, that they was drunk. And like I said, you know, she did confirm the fact that there was a knife, you know, knife play. But because of all of that, it has something to do with a bottle being dropped and she getting cut and she was short tempered about about that. Right. So that's why I was asking, you know, if he had if you had any type of account of seeing where the bottle came from. Was it purpose? I did. I did. It wasn't on purpose. It wasn't on purpose. It was an accident. Like basically where it fell, the impact of the glass, you know, it hitting the concrete, it bounced up and hit her leg from by far. Like, she was like, I didn't even know she was right there. Like, she was like, you know, it was like, it was like a, I don't know, I'd say like a freak accident. It was weird. I was like, and then like Tierra even said, I didn't mean to, you know, I didn't mean to cut you. But she still, I guess she still went and got a knife and was like, well, I'm about to cut you because that's what I do. I don't know. I was just like. Oh my God! <laughs> so again, Trucker Dow. Of course, this is this is all from uh, from your point of view. So my point of view. So after everything kind of settled, because you know she said that um, you know they left early because they had a you know they had a early plane to catch. What was the what was there any conversation? What was the vibe like after you know the the last day you guys packing up and and leaving? Like there was conversation honestly after you know I seen what I seen the night before with the knife. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be in this room with the door locked because I just couldn't do it. Like like I um, dealing with people who can't control their alcohol is absolutely terrifying. And, yeah, like, after that trip, I said never again. Because, like, we lost out on money dealing with that situation. We got kicked out from a rooftop party because of them. They were fighting. We had to sleep uncomfortably in one room because they were they would not stop trying to fight each other. Like, it was a mess. It was a whole mess. And then it's like... I seen like now it's like she's trying to clean up the story. She's trying to clean it up, but when it first came out, she was like, you know, all uh buddy buddy with the girl who she doesn't even know anybody. She doesn't know what happened. She doesn't know that they were doing that to each other. She doesn't know that we had to babysit. She doesn't know any of that. So she's coming out of nowhere and basically like bringing out skeletons in the closet. So it's like this stuff could have been avoided. This stuff happened like two and a half years ago. We moved, like I definitely moved on and didn't think that this was ever going to come about, but I guess she's seen the opportunity. And let me ask you this because the initial video was brought out by Maxi Marido. It wasn't. That's who it, I'm talking about. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Because yes, the, sorry. yeah, yes, yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. Because the mm-hmm. initial video came out by her and, and, Nelly came into the Nelly came into the picture because you know of course it was her husband in the video, but the 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 initial video Maxi Marie was the one that was promoting the fact that you know Tierra wasn't you know who she say she is and yada yada yada. But I don't think it's a good idea though. 
she went on the Angry Man show and, you know, told her her point of view. And that's why I was saying that, you know, just make this clear that this is from everybody's point of view. And right. everybody, you know, as as we always say, there's different stories. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's there's different stories. Now that uh, Massey Marie video came out, in essence, Nelly's video came out. And then uh, in essence, again, there's probably going to be plenty more <laughs> videos more, that's right. going to, that's, that's going to come out. And, and now, and, and now when you think about it now, to be honest, I mean, I'm going to be a hundred with you. All of this is taken away from the seriousness of what, was actually going on with the young lady. You right. know? I mean, when when you think about it, you know, we we got her hemmed up over in over in a foreign country, you know, and we still don't have the full details of what happened over there because there is a video <laughs> that we haven't even seen yet. So so, you know, this is just all a takeaway of what, you know, of what actually going down with the young lady. Your coffee is normally made by Cato. Who the hell is that? He works on your father's cars and, and makes his coffee. You fired him and everyone else who works for your father yesterday. I want Cato here now. All right, man. So it sounds like you guys was lit over there. Like, whoo, man. No, I, mean, y'all, I mean, it was a turn. It was a turn up, turn up. So, all right. So, Trucker Dow, uh, again, thank you for, you know, sharing your uh, experience uh, with the situation that went on down there. This rabbit hole right here was the initial video that was made by Matsy Marie and the fact that she was pushing it to different outlets to try to get, you know, uh sassy's uh demeanor uh how how can i say uh try to say that her demeanor is different than what the she perceived her character right? her character so what do you mm-hmm. so what do you what do you think about what do you think about that i mean again i said it okay. earlier if if that video was made years ago and the situation that happened to sassy that video wouldn't have never uh, came out. What, 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 what's your thoughts about that? I think that it's absolutely ridiculous. And like, you know what I mean? Like the girl is literally in a foreign country and you bring up something from almost three years ago. It's like, what is that doing for you? I mean, I guess, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't know if you're getting paid for it, for submitting the video. I'm not sure. But, I mean, if you're making some money off of it, let me know so I can submit videos, too, to all the alleys. I don't know. I just feel like you never know when it comes to people. You never know what type of footage they have on you. And just, I guess, whenever whenever people think you're down or whatever and they think you don't have a voice or something, they will attack you from all angles and i feel like this was definitely like an attack on her her character and an attack on her personally because it's like you know uh she is in a country you know she can literally be in in harm's way and people are sitting over here posting stuff from three years ago to continue to you know defame her character and have people thinking otherwise and they don't even know the full story. They don't even know what happened over there because they weren't in this situation, you know? And when that video did drop, everybody automatically assumed that that was a video straight from Dubai. So it's like, you it almost made it worse, you know? Okay, so hot coffee? Hot coffee. Okay, room for cream? Totally leave room for cream. Why are you talking like that? Why are you talking like that? Because this is my voice? This is my voice. I, I can agree. I mean, you know, it's just like what I it's just like what I said to Nelly uh, about, you know, Obama going for presidency. You know, it everything that that he did in the past seems to come back up to the forefront, even though it happened 
10, 5, 10, 20 years ago, you know? So, but it, again, it shouldn't, it, it shouldn't take away from the fact that, you know, Sassy is in a situation. We're, we're getting more and more information uh, from, from Dubai. You know, Dubai has made a statement or Dubai police has made a statement. Let me ask you this. I mean, what's, what's your status uh, with Sassy now? Like, I mean, are y'all still cool? Will you still go on? Yeah. Will you still go on girl trips with her or? Yeah, like, I've been on plenty of, you know, trips with her and, like, haven't had an issue with alcohol or nothing. Like, she doesn't, she doesn't get, like, the way that people were trying to portray her in that video. That was built up from, you know what I mean? Like, and one thing I wanted to mention, what happened when the Marie girl first met Tierra. I really felt like she was throwing slick shots. She literally, the first initial thing that came out of her mouth, she looked at Tierra and said, do you dance in Detroit? And I was like, dang, that, like, why would you say that to a person? So she pretty much said, you look like a dancer to the girl. Because Marie, you know, I guess she lives in Detroit, but yeah, she literally looked at Tierra and said, you look like a dancer, somebody that, I, you know, I saw dancing. And I felt like that was a slick shot. You just don't do that to people. You know what I mean? Like, and so it had already, it was already like a awkward situation. I don't know if it had anything to do with the guy, like, you know, on Marie's part at all. I don't know if they had like a previous relationship. I have no idea, but it makes you wonder, you know, after all these series of events, like what is really going on? Yeah, it does. It does make you wonder. It does, does make you think. All right. Um, have you have you ever been over to Dubai with uh with with Sassy? I, I mean, I yeah, I, I could have sworn there is a video of you and her over in Dubai at one point. Yeah, actually, back in September, we like um we went over there. We went to Maldives and Dubai. So I just came home early, you know, because. I was ready to leave. Like, you know, they do have a lot of laws there that are different from here. And it's easy to, you know, it's really easy to get in trouble over there. So I was homesick for the most part. I was so ready to come back home. <laughs> you said so ready. How how was your experience? <laughs> well, how how was your experience with Dubai? Like, I mean, you know, we, of course, like you said, uh, there is a lot of laws that, you know, that you guys might not be accustomed to, but I, how was your experience over there? I had a great experience. It was, you know, a, like a um, a shot, you know, how people, how we do it in America. We definitely, you know, other countries definitely don't do it the same way. And it, uh, it definitely humbled, you know, I think it was a, like a very humbling moment, you know, because, what we think is beautiful is not beautiful over there. What we think is, like, disrespectful. What we think that's not disrespectful is disrespectful over there. So, like, it was, like, definitely a culture shock. But I have I had a lot of fun in Dubai. Like, I really had fun. I don't think I spent, you know, long enough there to actually feel, like, feel what it like to live in Dubai. As you know, like, she was she's living in Dubai, so... I think most of the parts that we were at were more or less like tourist spots. So, right, you you didn't see the ghetto. You didn't you didn't see the ghetto side of of Dubai. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, because you know every every continent, every state, every city has at least one. <laughs> you know, there's a guy there. There's a guy going viral on TikTok right now showing the ghetto side of Paris. I don't know if you, you know, seen any of those videos, but yeah, he's he's showing the ghetto side of Paris right now. You know, he's and everybody talking about how great the Eiffel Eiffel Tower is and how beautiful the scenery is and stuff like that. He was like, no, no, no. Let me show you the real side of Paris. <laughs> so uh Trucker Dow, thank you very much, man. I I, I do appreciate you um, 
uh, giving me the opportunity to, uh, to chop it up. Can I take your order? Can I get a tall chai? And a large black coffee. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti. Yeah, the biggest one you got. A venti is large. No, venti is 20. Has, has anybody else... Uh, because you, you, you're pretty much uh, known in the video. Has has anybody else reached out to you to, you know, to get your to get your side of the story? Because you know, of course, there's all sides. So, has anybody tried to reach out to you uh, to to get well, you know confirmation on the story? Well, definitely. Um, Dollface definitely has. She's been trying to like get down to the nitty gritty. She says she's all about the facts. So. <laughs> And, you know, she's studying law, so, you know what I mean? That's her forte. She loves stuff like that. Okay, yeah. Shout out to Dialface Trucker. Guys, if y'all want to mess with Dialface, uh, definitely go over there and check her out. She's been she's been following the Sassy Saga as well. So, you know, she just recently, you know, I just recently caught her live feed where she actually had a conversation with a, uh, Tierra's mom like wow I you know I was I was like wow great you know great catch on that because I you know I I saw I saw the videos you know I saw the news and and the reason you know I and I even did my thing you know sassy broke the internet like literally this has literally blew up internationally now we got china we got we got istanbul we got uh jamaica africa we got we we got it's it's all over the world right now people people is reporting on the fact that there's a you know an american woman over in i mean you know trapped in dubai because of you know of her being a woman and and, you know, and I, I kind of said to myself, like, well, maybe if the moms hadn't came out with the news story, maybe, just maybe, it wouldn't, it wouldn't blow up and many people wouldn't have many narratives on the situation. Do you agree mm -hmm. with my assessment or no? Um... I don't know. I, I don't know because I definitely feel like, you know, she made the the right choice to bring awareness, you know, to a story like this. Um, it's like, what do you do if that situation happens? Like, what do you do? Who do you reach out to? So she did what she knew knew to do, and that was to, you know what I mean, reach out to people that she could that could, you know, possibly help and bring awareness to the situation. She been hemmed up for two months, and this is, like, going on August, like, July. We just now finding out in July that she been arrested and detained over there. And, you know, it, it just didn't pick up steam until after, you know, like you said, her mom brought awareness to it. And, but I got the initial article like three weeks ago. I mean, the initial article, like nobody, nobody didn't even know about the article because I posted in my community post and everybody, you know, that was commenting in the community post was shocked. Like, wait, is this clip bait lockout? I'm like, no, nah, this, this is what I got. And then. Of course, you know, her mom made the, the the news about it, you know, to put some confirmation behind it. And and yeah, it's just it just it just spread it like wildfire. You know, again, like I said, she broke the internet, man. And I'm you know, but now is you know, it's coming full circle. We got addition we got we got side stories now. <laughs> Dubai and their authorities now coming into, you know, coming into play, talking, you know, you know, talking their assessment. My thing is this, I, I, you know, I said it once, I said it again, that we, we need to see the, we need to see the, the video. 
we need to see the actual video of her confrontation at the rental at the rental place. And that will probably put a lot of issues to bed. You know, it, it, it will definitely show the extortion, you know, come to find out that this this rental car is part of a part of a series of rental car places that does that, you know. So there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of things, you know, that we can look at that's going to be, you know, apparent going in, you know, going into future travels for people that's interested in going over to Dubai, you know. So would you, <laughs> trucker Dow, <laughs> would you, <laughs> would you ever make the excursion back over there? No. No, I done lived it once, I don't, you know what I mean? No, I ain't going back over there. <laughs> All right, so the boyfriend. Okay, so right. Uh, is this the first time that you you met the guy? Yes. Okay, so this is this is her male friend that was that was brought with Sassy to go on the 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 trip from uh, St. Thomas to Puerto Rico, right? All right, so the Maxi Marie young lady is his friend, right? Supposedly, that's the story that I got from it. Yeah, they're supposed to be friends. Okay, okay, okay. So, of course, <laughs> Maxi Marie came in late, uh, yep. uh, came in late via, um, via the boyfriend. So... From your point of view, Sassy never met this young lady, never saw this young lady in her lifetime. The 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 trip in Puerto never. Rico was the first time she laid eyes on her. Yes. Okay. So now it's Matsy Marie, the boyfriend, and Sassy. How mm. was in from your point of view, how was the boyfriend acting? I feel like I feel like he's like a manipulator. Like he was manipulating every situation on the trip. It was like he was like acting like a narcissist. Like he would manipulate her behind closed doors and then get around her friends and like be very loud about private conversations. Like so he would like put her on blast in front of her friends and then the friends would look at her like what like and I would be like why is he doing that and so then they were siding with the boyfriend and that's why there he was walking away from Sassy like he left us at the restaurant at night to walk with the friend like it was just a mess like I really feel like he was manipulating her in many different ways because I'm not the type I don't side with no boyfriends you know what I mean like She's my friend, and, like, she's my friend. I'm not going to side with a guy. Like, so anyway, it was just, like, I felt like everybody was, you know what I mean? Like, he was turning everybody against her in a way because he was manipulating the situation. Like, he was playing his innocence and wasn't innocent at all. Because I said he didn't like me at all. Like, he had a problem with me because I never sided with him because I, I saw through the bullshit. So, so you guys are at are at some type of restaurant. Um, it was mm -hmm. confirmed. It was it was confirmed that you guys was at the restaurant. Y'all was uh y'all was eating and everything. Something happened which made the young lady get up and leave. And then two seconds later, the dude, the boyfriend, decided to get up and leave with her and leave. Sassy yourself and the married couple, I guess eyes wide open and mouths dropped, right? No, they all left. So the married couple left first. Me and Sassy, we were waiting for our food. And then all of a sudden, I didn't expect it, 
but him and the girl left too and we were just there by ourselves it was dark it was like 11 o'clock at night we're in a foreign country and they leave they left us and i looked at sassy and i'm like what kind of crap was that and she was like exactly why would he you know why would he leave us because sassy's cousin would have never left us even though you know we're not even dating that man it's just something that you know what i mean we came together we leave together so why is the group leaving you know but like it's just it was just it doesn't make sense basically like why would he leave and so she ended up saying something to him about that i'm sure and he turned around and like did something in front of her friends to make them look at her like what like you, you get what I'm, i don't know if i'm making sense it's like he was very manipulative man, manipulative like he knew what he was doing when he left he knew that she would be upset like he knew that if sassy did that to him he wouldn't accept that he wouldn't like that so why would he do it to her like he's a manipulator he's manipulative man it I mean, it sounds as though that this trip was just was just messy from beginning to end on all parts of 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 the players that was that's in this story. You agree? Definitely. The, um, for the most part, like I think we kept it we kept it together for the most part, you know, by deleting us being free and actually, you know people actually like drinking like they want to because we were on our toes because we didn't know what to what to expect from you know the people in the group we didn't know what to expect like it was just I don't know it was, I felt like it was a school field trip and I had a class full of kindergartners man so <laughs> so you guys get back of course you 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 guys get back to the Airbnb did did Sassy, of course, you, you already mentioned that she got back with the dude. Some things must have been said. It, it had to be. I I mean, if I was a female being left by my by my so-called boyfriend and, and walk out and leave with another female, yeah, I'll be in my feelings. Mm -hmm. I, I'm 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 just saying. I, I I would definitely be in my feelings. That's something that's something not not right that's weird you know you it was weird that that's weird it that that's not right that's weird like bro it so of course you know things had to be said was it <sighs> so you said that it was it, it was exploded he tried to turn the tables in front of you guys pretty much what yeah. was what was mm -hmm. his excuse? I guess there you go. There you go, lockout. What was his excuse for for leaving you guys there? Like leaving leaving you guys and walking out with 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 the girl. What was his excuse for that? Like I don't I don't think he had I don't think he had an excuse. Like put that coffee down. I think he had an excuse. I think it was more like a manipulative like a a tactic that he uses like just being manipulative just being outright just doing people outright dirty and then like he knows the reaction of doing something like that so it's like he see he fed off of that initial reaction because he knew how to make her react so when she did react she looked like the crazy person i literally sat there and watched it because i'm really like most of the time i'm off to myself but uh, Marie and um, Max Marie and then, you know, the husband and wife, they were all like, you know, conversating amongst each other. So when the blow ups did happen, they were like, oh, my God, wow, what is wrong with her? She's crazy. She's weird. And I told them, I said, no, y'all don't know what he's doing to her. You know what I mean? Like that nobody was paying attention to what he was doing to her. And this started all the way from the beginning of the trip to the end of the trip and I even think after the trip because you you get what I'm saying like he's a manipulator and I'm I'm glad that she she she's done with that so yeah yeah like I said I'm like I said I you know it's it's a lot of it's a lot of sides a lot of point of views and I'm 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 definitely glad that you you know you, 
you you gave me the opportunity to listen to the story and and hear your point of view of uh of the story. So definitely stay safe out there. Uh trucker doll. Uh definitely stay safe out there. Fun fact, I've been like I said before, I've been following you for a long time, so Oh, that's, that's amazing. Thank you for the follow. You're welcome. Big cheese got it locked. Won't you love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you to make me real wet? Yeah, swimming around. Won't you to take it like a G? Yeah.